My name is Adrienne Mischler. I am an entrepreneur and a yoga teacher and an artist from Austin, Texas. And I am learning Spanish because it's something that I've always wanted to do. And instead of taking Spanish in school, I took um, American Sign Language. And here I am now in my 30s and I'm finding that I have always deeply wanted to speak this language because I'm half Mexican, but also because I'm very blessed to work in a, in a job and a role that takes me all over the world. And whenever I'm in Spanish speaking countries, I always feel as though I could do better and that I could take the time to learn this language that I'm already connected to. So here I am, and I could not be more excited to be here with Fuens, working at this level and with this one-on-one, -on -one, especially this one-on-one -on -one, um, type of environment. So as an entrepreneur, I am in a position where I can always be working. I can always be thinking and dreaming and nurturing my projects and what it is that I believe to be important and you know, my meaningful contribution to humanity. So that makes it really hard for me personally to carve out the time to do things that are new. However, when I decided that I wanted to learn Spanish, being the stubborn <laughs> and determined person that I am, it was on. And so I immediately carved out the time. I immediately invested lots of money in anything that I thought would help me um, make it to my goal or commit, I should say, to my journey, my goal of learning Espanol. So I bought all the apps. <laughs> I tried all the free stuff as well. Um, I listened to podcasts, of course, invested extra time, you know, free time in um, listening to Spanish music, to television. And then I finally decided I need to take a class. I need to be in a classroom setting because especially um, because I run, run my own business, I really just needed to be in the seat where it was very clear that I was the student, not in charge, not responsible. Um, and so I enrolled in a class in my hometown um, with other adults, Spanish 1A, and I committed to it fully. It exhausted me. I would work all day and then I would go to my class at night and I wouldn't have any brain power, um, but I was still really excited and optimistic. I loved my classmates and I loved my teacher. I really, really do um, respect and love my teacher. However, at the end of my Spanish 1A, I still felt as though I could be doing more. I knew, I, I was patient with myself, but I knew that I wasn't making connections that I was really craving. And so I started to look for opportunities in which I could really focus and work at an intense level. So those classes were really great for me, but in essence, they were like fun. For the first time, I feel like it is actually possible for me to be fluent in Spanish. I'm getting emotional. <laughs> because even in my, uh, my, my first day of, of session, my first day of classes, I felt like I, I spoke more and connected more to everything in one day than I did in a whole year of kind of trying all of these different wonderful things. But it's just a different way of going at it, and I think it really serves. One of the things I love, in addition to, of course, we're all here to learn Spanish, we're all really hungry and we're all really excited to learn the language, is that I think Fluens really does a good job of curating your whole experience. So they're not just like plugging into this like kind of um, formulaic Spanish language retreat where there's like good breakfast and good conversation and it's really curated with love and personally, I was so impressed that we had reservations at the top restaurant in town that were, you know, taken care of from the moment we wake up till we go to bed. Um, you do get your personal time. But um, yeah, I would say the curation of the whole experience, so not just your time in the classroom and not just your time at the dinner table, but the, the thought that has gone into the whole experience on top of the fact that, of course, we're in Mexico, which is just not to be taken for granted, um, yeah, is, is really, really special and really, really good. I personally feel 
that I was supposed to be here right now, that I was supposed to come across this program at this point in my life. And uh, I guess that's why I'm here sharing my experience because I really believe in the program and it sounds cheesy, but now for the first time ever, I believe in myself and I feel like I can do this and I will do this and it's not gonna happen overnight and it's not gonna happen in a week. So I'm excited to already plan my next trip and to really just commit to learning this language as a lifelong journey and to enjoy the ride.